Hi, I'm Dion Vengetes and I'm the winner of the Halal Cape Town Tourism Chef Exchange program. Hi, I'm Tamsin Wells and I'm a winner of the Halal Cape Town Tourism Chef Exchange. We got invites to this program and there was excitement about winning prizes and learning about the Halal cuisine. We're getting a lot of Halal tourists in the hotel and I often have to cater to their needs. I knew a little bit about catering for Halal clients but not to that extent, so it was very informative. It can be made anywhere as long as you use the correct ingredients. You basically can cook whatever you'd like to cook, just following a few guidelines, working in separate working areas, making sure there's no cross-contamination, so it's very much feasible to execute halal food in any operation that you're working in. The theoretical part of it was very informative in terms of the halal and what you can do and the parameters you have to work with. The next leg of it was the next morning where we actually got to do the practical and where they announced the 20 contestants that were going to compete in the practical. I was surprised to be in the top 20, but also the theoretical training they gave us was very descriptive and they taught us everything we needed to know and so it was easy to answer the questions in the end. There were demonstrations being done by two chefs that came from Singapore that showed us a lot. We had to choose an apron and whoever had the matching apron that I chose was going to be my partner. So I was looking around and there was nobody with a matching apron and then I saw Dion. Initially a bit nervous to be honest, but once we got to know each other and got the game plan together, I think stuff eased out a little bit. The winning recipe was a mystery basket table and there were unusual ingredients for a dessert. It was beans and sago and I had been to Vietnam previously and we were drinking this ice drink of beans and sweet potato and sweetened coconut and we had that every day because it was so hot. So I said to Dion, let's make a dessert that's around this dish because of all these unusual ingredients and so off we went and then he added his idea of the mango parfait to add coolness to the dessert and so we ended up with the panna cotta. Winning was a surprise, shock. We were so excited, we couldn't believe we were going to be traveling overseas in a few months. We were investigating where we can go, what we can taste, what we can learn to bring back to our companies and our country. It was an easy thing to sort of just walk away with. I mean, we were competing against well-renowned chefs and established executive chefs in Cape Town. So yeah, I was very excited to win it. The food markets in Singapore, it's next level. I mean, there was so much ingredients we never saw before. You'd always dream of seeing these ingredients, being able to hold it in your hand and smell it. And it was just an unbelievable experience. One of the best experiences I've taken from the actual trip. There's a lot of live butchery. There's a lot of fish stations where they're cleaning the fish right there. Spices that filling the whole room with the aromas of things that we had never experienced before. There was so much we've ate, so much we tasted. It's a pastime, it's a sort of cultural thing for Singaporeans to eat. This is what they do in their spare time, so we ate every single thing. There's nothing we never tasted and it was these flavours that were mind-blowing. Working in those two restaurants was quite an experience. I mean, the Punjab Grill was brilliant because I've never actually worked in a professional Indian restaurant. And we got to work on the tandoori and see the sort of semantic and set up of the actual kitchens, which was brilliant. The Fairmont was the most insightful experience, if I may say, out of the two. When he took us around and actually showed us the operation and the paperwork behind everything, the organizational structures put into place was just mind-blowing. It was brilliant. Dion and I decided because every time we went out we would have a variety of, of foods, we're going to make you a variety of foods too. So we're going to start with a day in the life of a Singaporean with their traditional breakfast. It's called kaya toast. It's a sweet, salty sort of flavour and it's a, a coconut jam on toast with a very thick slice of butter, which I was so shocked. The butter is almost like a slice of cheese and a very soft boiled egg with a little bit of soy sauce and a strong black coffee. And then we're going to move on to a lunch or dinner which is rice and a whole baked fish and some morning glory which is the vegetable we found. The 
from the first thing we tasted to the last thing we tasted and when I just got back I didn't want to leave that memory behind. I mean through that experience it's definitely on my um, holiday list where every year I'm definitely going to Asia to experience their food because it just opens up your mind and challenges the way you look at food. All the ingredients you need for your halal cookery is found locally anywhere over Cape Town. They're all well labelled, easy to find and any butcher will be glad to assist you with any cut of meat or fish that you would like. If I have to give you some advice, don't be scared about it, just sort of embrace it and once you sort of start playing around with it, you'll figure out that it's, it's, not, it's a no-brainer. It's basically what you're doing and just leaving a few ingredients out and following some sort of guidelines that are in the parameters of working with halal food. Thank you.